What's up everybody? Jake coming at you with a new update with the Tango 2. Had a little bit of an issue yesterday and it was it was actually a big issue. The radio stopped working in cold weather is essentially what happened. The the right joystick wasn't working. Uh, when I powered it off, it wouldn't power back on, stuff like that. I got a hold of Trappy, and of course with time difference and stuff like that, he got back to me as quickly as he could, which was super cool. Thank you very much, Trappy. I appreciate that. But there's a fix for it. And I think that everybody should know how to do two things here. Number one, get the beta firmware. Number two, how to get your radio into bootloader mode. So I'm gonna show you right now how to get into the bootloader mode. Super easy, ridiculous easy. And it's all through these two little buttons in the back. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that Agent X is open up on your computer. These two here are the bootloader buttons. This one's for Crossfire, and this one's actually for the Freedom TX. And how you get into the bootloader mode is you make sure your radio is turned off, you press and hold the button. So I'm gonna go into Freedom TX first, and I recommend everybody else do this too. And then you plug it in with Agent X open, okay? You'll hear a ding. Now you can let go. The first thing you wanna do in Agent X though, is go up to those three dots in the upper right hand corner and make sure that beta firmware is selected. Hit save, all right? Then you'll notice here the TBS Tango 2, the TBS bootloader is right here and it says firmware 0.00. So you're in bootloader mode, that's awesome. Hit manage and then I know it doesn't look like there's anything different here or anything like that, but still hit the update button. I've already done it, so I'm not gonna do it. You hit this update button, uh, you know what? Fuck it, I'll do it. So you hit update and then you hit update again. What it'll do is prepare the device and it'll do all this craziness, it'll download and then it'll actually turn your radio on for it to complete the update. So let's wait for this to do this. It only takes a couple minutes, guys. It's full on worth it. It's gonna save yourself some trouble, especially if you get into cold, cold weather. Uh, so definitely do this, all right? Now, once it's done, like I said, it will turn on. Let it Welcome do its thing. Do not mess with it. Let it do its thing until this actually shows that it's complete, don't touch it. Well, I mean, you can touch it, just don't turn it off or interrupt the process, all right? That's not good. It'll say complete here in just a minute. Do, 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 do. Boom, bam, you're done. You just updated the bootloader on your T TBS Tango 2. Even though it doesn't show that there's something there, just do it. Now what you're gonna wanna do, unplug the device, power it off, and boom, bam. Now we'll start the next process. I always recommend turning off the TBS Agent X so that you get a fresh start again. So close it out, turn it back on, all right? Then you're gonna hold down the left button to enter into the crossfire bootloader mode. So you press and hold, Plug it in, wait for the ding. Let go. So now it's in the bootloader mode for the crossfire, okay? It'll show up up here. And you'll, you'll notice it says TBS crossfire up here, TBS bootloader, firmware 0, 0.00. Hit manage, go to firmware. And remember we hit those little three dots and now it shows the beta firmware here. Hit update and hit update again. And of course, just wait for it. Don't mess with it. Don't interrupt the process or anything like that. You don't want it to fuck up, right? Right, me either. The other thing I'm gonna tell you right now, even though this is the same firmware that your radio came with, it may be different. So definitely, definitely, definitely still go and do this. I recommend it to well, everyone. To Look, it turned on again. It's gonna do this a little bit. 
let it do its thing. Don't hit any buttons on the radio or anything like that. Don't jump the gun. Just let it do its thing. It's going to write it and all this stuff. I think that's Mario. Mario, I think so. It's stuck in my head, though. Keep in mind, when it got done, it was super fast. And rebooted. Realistically, now you're done, you've upgraded your firmware, you know how to get into bootloader now, and uh, it powers on. Do yourself a favor, unplug that bad boy, turn it off, turn your thing, put it down, put it in your bag, go fly. Now you're done. All honesty, Trappy was a huge help. I appreciate your help. Uh, I know things can be frustrating and everything, but the way that Trappy went about it and helped me out, just on point. Super cool of you, my man. You guys have a great day. Enjoy. Go fly in all weather.